What's up guys, it's Brandon Flash. We're here with something that people have been waiting for for a very long time. It's a CCS adapter for Teslas in North America. Let's unbox this and test it out. So here we have it. I don't really know if there's anything else in the box. I've got my knife here to open it, but there should at least be the adapter. Hopefully it's not damaged or anything. You're joining me as I open this. I have not opened this yet at all. Came in from, I believe, Hong Kong not too long ago, like a week ago, but in Myrtle Beach, there's not a single CCS or Chatamo station, so I haven't had the opportunity to test it. So, opening the box up here, we've got some foam. Of course, good idea to keep the stuff steady. Got some instructions. I'm probably gonna ignore those. I know how to use it. And here we have the adapter itself in a nicely designed like little foam holder. This thing's pretty hefty. So here we have the North America Tesla plug. And here we have CCS. Let's try it out. So we're here at a charge point unit. These are capable of 62 kilowatt. However, it looks like this one in particular is limited to 50 kilowatt, but that's totally fine. This is capable, of, in theory, of up to 200 amps, which is a little, about 60 kilowatt. I'd have to do the math. Depends on your pack voltage as well. But we're gonna activate this. This is 27 cents a kilowatt hour, which is totally reasonable. We've got our CCS handle here. And one of the cool things about these units is that this spins up top. So you get some more room with the cable. We'll plug it in. Very firm. I'll open this. That charge board's been finicky. I think it needs to be lubricated. We're going to plug it in. That's a lot of weight on the charge board. I don't know how I feel about that. It says waiting for EV on the unit here. All right, so it didn't want to activate when I had the adapter hooked up to this first. So we're going to try it again here. I'm going to activate the station since it's timed out. We'll plug in. We'll try that. This is not an ideal angle in my opinion. We're latched. Let's see if it will activate. It says waiting for EV. Oh, you have oh. to turn it on? Maybe I have to turn it on? <laughs> We have a green light here now. That's promising. Do you want to go in the car and see? Is it working? It still says waiting for EV on there. Maybe We've got a blinking green light now. Maybe that was the connector. And we're charging. I think. Let's see. I mean, it sounded oh. like it was. I it says blue though. It's blue though now. I hear contacts trying to connect. Just doesn't seem like they're trying. So they are. we've got 318 volts. We don't have any power flowing yet, so we don't have any amps, but it seems promising. It's doing something. All right, so I just plugged it in again. I turned on the power button on the adapter prior to plugging in the CCS handle. I've heard contactors on the unit click. I've heard power, or I've heard contactors on this click. And it looks like, wow, we're drawing power now. Let's see what the car is reporting as well. And we're getting power. And we're getting 116 amps, 117 amps. Let's turn off the climate here because that is deducted from that. Pack voltage is pretty low, but this is promising, it's working. All right, we charged up to 60%. We just wanted to get a little bit of a top off before we head uh, on the I-95 corridor so we can bypass Lumberton and head to Florence. But let me show you how to, how to unplug this. I'm gonna press this button here to turn it off. I'm gonna unplug it from the car first just so that I put less stress on the charge port while I unplug this. Unlatch this, got the adapter. Be a kind human and put this back where it belongs, which is in the holder. Some of them you kind of just drape or like put in a latch, but this one actually latches in. Here we have the adapter. 
Uh, the company that makes these also sent me a software update, but I need to find a Windows computer to install it. So we'll see if we can do that. Maybe it'll increase speeds. About a week later, I've got the software updated to version 140 on the CCS adapter. I'm not quite sure what it was on before, whatever it shipped from. Uh, we're gonna plug it in here. We're at Electrify America in, I believe, Kissimmee, Florida, I think is the name of the station. But we're gonna see if we can do 200 amps on this adapter. It's rated for it. Model S and X can apparently do it. Let's see if it happens. We're at 7%, so it should do it for probably a few minutes, because this car will do 355 amps on a supercharger. But let's get this started. I'm powering on the adapter by pressing the button. I've got the station pulled up here on my phone. We're gonna swipe to activate. I'm gonna grab the cable over here. It says, please plug in. A little uh, tricky to do this without putting too much force on the adapter. But we've got it engaged here. It says connecting to vehicle. And now we're in the car. Let's see how this goes. It says ready to charge. That's a good sign. Pack voltage is quite low since this is a 70D. And it's only a 350, 350 volt pack. So as the state of charge goes down, the voltage goes down. But in theory, this should do about 56 kilowatt at 284 volts. And these are Signet Electrify America units. The ramp up is going very slow, but it's working, so that's promising. It was probably just testing it there. And look at that, we're over 125 amps. Let's turn climate off. So not quite 200 amps, but 188 amps is very good. And there's probably actually some power going to auxiliary. Battery is fairly warm. We were ripping it around to uh, run the battery down. And we've actually, with plugging it in, it's now up to 300 volts. 55 kilowatt on a 350 volt pack. This is good. So being that this is a paid charging station, we're only gonna stay here until it drops below 125 amps. And then we're lucky enough to actually have a free DC fast charger uh, not too far away here. And we'll just top off the battery there. No reason to pay if we don't need to. Just an update here at 49% charge, we're now down to 145-ish amps. And we're probably gonna unplug here in a moment, but it's sustained uh, higher than 140 amps for almost 40% charge, so I am very impressed. That makes this a much better option than the Chatamo for any station capable of more than 125 amps. But we're now gonna head over to the free DC fast charger and see if it works there. Screen is a little bit hard to see on the actual Electrify America unit. Uh, maybe we can see here. But cost for this session was $8.99 and we did 29 kilowatt hour in 29 minutes, so not too bad. We are now here at a BTC Duke Energy 50 kilowatt uh, DC fast charger. We're also gonna be using the Chatamo again here. We're gonna be plugging it in here, turning it on. Lock is engaged. I'm going to activate the station now with Start Charge on the Green Lots app, which is what Duke Energy uses for these. Again, it's free, so certainly no complaints there. It says processing, I'm gonna plug in. It's a little tricky. This, luckily this cable is a little bit more flexible. I like to kind of put the cable there so it can push some upwards force a little bit. That way it's not so much weight on the charge port. We just heard the fans on the charging unit kick on. And let's see how much power we're pulling. And just like that, we're pretty much maxing it out. Uh, I would imagine we're probably pulling actually 125 amps, but the five amps is going towards climate and thermal management. But we're gonna chop it off here and go get some dinner. Here you can see on the unit, it's pulling 39 kilowatts because again, the 50 kilowatt is based on a 400 volt battery and this is only a 350 volt car.
throw a comment down below if there's any chargers in the Orlando area or any uh, specific charging units you want me to test and I'll do my best to accommodate. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, hit that like button down below and subscribe for future content. We'll probably do some more testing with CCS adapter at some more different DC fast chargers. There are so many different models out there. Uh, and being that it's kind of a beta product, it seems, you don't know if it's gonna work 100%, but so far we're three for three on this latest software. Thank you guys for watching.